And the Lord said, Cause the cry of Sodom and Gomorrah is great. And because of their sin is very grievous, I will go down now and see whether they have done all together according to the cry of it, which is to come unto me. And if not, I will know. And the men turned their faces from them and went toward Sodom. But Abraham stood yet before the Lord. And Abraham drew near and said, Lord, will thou also destroy the righteous with the wicked? Amen. Chapter 19, verses 24 and 25. Then the Lord rained upon Sodom and Gomorrah brimstone and fire from the Lord out of heaven. Amen. And he overthrew those cities well, and all the plains and all the inhabitants of the cities all right. and that which grew up on the ground. Amen. I want to talk about tonight the other side of God. Amen. There is a bad. Well, well. Tear it up. There is a dime. Tear it in. There is an out. Tear it front. There is a back. Tear it north. There is a south. Tear it east. There is a west. To every person, there are two sides. In our church and churches around the world, there is and has been a picture of God painted in our hearts, in our minds, and in our souls. And the picture implies that God is a pleasant God. The picture painted in our heart has always been a very pleasant picture. Well, well. The picture implies that God is the God of love. Amen. The picture implies that God will take care of his own. Amen. The picture implies that God is able to carry you through. Well, well. All right. The picture implies that God is full of grace. Yes. God is long-suffering. God is a merciful God. The picture implies that God will pick you up when you're falling down. The picture implies that God will deliver on time. The picture implies that God will supply your every son. That God God. Well, as we're children, we learned a long time ago, for God so loved the world yeah. that he gave his only begotten son that yeah. whosoever believeth on him should not perish, all right, all right. but have everlasting life. Yeah. As we're children, I can remember so well how they taught us, Jesus loves me, yes, son. this right. I know. For the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. I remember standing in the youth choir singing, Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. For the Bible tells me so. As good children, before we ate our food, Mama taught us to say God is good. And God is great. Lord, we thank you for our food. By our hands, we must be fed. Give us, Lord, our daily bread. In our church and churches around the world, we have been taught that God is a forgiving God. 
we have been taught that God is a God yeah. of compassion. All right, all right, all right. We have seen pictures of what we call Jesus sitting upon the mountain top with his yeah. disciples saying, suffer us little children. Yeah. Yeah. And forbid them not to come unto me. We yeah. say that God is a loving God. Yeah. Yeah. Now I think all the calls here and tell you yeah. that all of these pictures and all of these ideas of God are agreeable to me. Yeah. All of these pictures and all of these ideas yeah. are among the treasures that I treasure. All right. All right. All right. These pictures are among the pictures that of which our salvation is based upon. All right. All right. And I hold all of these pictures dear to my heart. But my brothers and my sisters, believe me when I tell you tonight, there is another side to God. There is a side to God that is not so loving. There's a side to God that's not so kind. There's a side to God that's not so patient. My brothers and sisters, that's the other side of God. Not only is God the God of peace, but he is the God of war. Not only is God the God of patience, but he is the God of fire and brimstone. That's the other side of God. There comes a time when God makes up his mind that no longer would I tolerate any more of us lying every time we open our mouth. There comes a time when God gets tired of us playing in church on Sunday morning. There comes a time when God gets tired of us committing adultery and fornication. There comes a time when God gets tired of us having big eyes and little you. There comes a time when God gets tired of us coming in the church not speaking one to the other. There comes a time when God gets tired of us worshiping idol God. You know the story. You heard it say, Thou shalt have no other God before me. There comes a time when God gets tired of us establishing our own righteousness. There comes a time when God gets tired of this old body, which is the temple of the Holy Ghost, being filled with drugs and alcohol and cocaine. There comes a time when God's patience run out. There comes a time when God Seen. And you may not believe it tonight, but there are some folks who glory in their wrongdoing. There are some folks who glory in the fact that God understands. And you know we got scriptures for everything now. Do I have a witness here? Do I have a witness here? Do you know we have learned how to take the Bible and hold you say you're doing wrong now. You say, well, I look at Romans 3, 23. It says we all have seen. Do I have a witness here? And we all have come short of the glory of God. When, when, when we get caught doing wrong, we say, well, he ain't it without sin. Yeah. 